You might have noticed recently due to an update in Windows 11, that update is 22H2, you've lost the facility to get the old classic view devices and printers. Instead, you get this menu come up. But what if you want the old classic menu like this? We're going to show you how you can get it back and how you can create an icon to put on your desktop so you'll always be able to get to that old classic menu. Now you're probably thinking, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to get the old classic menu up? Well, bottom line is I went into the new view devices and printers the other day. I had a message in the printers and scanners saying the driver was unavailable and I couldn't remove the printer to uh, reinstall it. So that was the only way I could remove it was going back to the classic menu. If you're watching this as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. As I say, I'm going to show you how you can create an icon to get the old classic menu back. So just find an empty space on your desktop, then click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. If you've clicked on the right mouse button, then you'll get this menu. Go down to new and then across to shortcut. Once your mouse is over shortcut, click on the left mouse button and you should get this box come up here. The next thing you need to do is you need to type in this command exactly as it's shown on the screen. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put this command in the description of the video. And if you want, you can copy it and paste it in there. But if you are going to manually type it, make sure that you type it correctly. Make sure that you don't miss a thing because if you type it slightly incorrectly, then you could well find that you end up corrupting your system. So once you've check this, you've triple checked it, you've quadruple checked it, and you're a thousand percent sure that you've typed it in exactly like I have on the screen there, or you've copied it and pasted it from the description of this video. Then move your mouse over next, just at the bottom there, left click once. It's now going to ask you to type a name for this shortcut. It's got Explorer in there at the moment, but just type devices and printers. Make sure you use the word AND as opposed to ampersand. Then move your mouse over finish, left click once. And there you go. That's created. And if we double left click that now, it'll open up the old classic devices and printers. Now, you might notice that at the top there, you've not got add a device or printer, but what you can do if you want to add a device or printer from here is move your mouse over any empty area, click the right mouse button, go down and click show more options. And then you've got an option there to add devices and printers. So left click that and there you go. It says choose a device or printer to add to this PC, just as it normally would. I'm just going to cancel out of that. You've also got the old classic options when you right click over a device or printer. So you've got see what's printing, set as default printer, printer preferences, printer properties, create shortcut, remove device, which I didn't have on the uh, the, the other menu when uh, it couldn't find the driver. You've also got troubleshoot and properties. Now, most, if not all of these options are available on the new interface, but like I say, I did have an, an instance where these weren't available to me. I just simply couldn't get in to the properties for a printer where it said the driver was unavailable. And my only option was to go into the old classic control panel. So the next step is now this is purely optional. And that is just to sort of make this look a bit prettier, change the icon to make it stand out. So let's just right click on that. Go down to properties, left click, and then go down to change icon, left click. And here we go. So we've got some icons in here, but if you want to use the official Windows 11 devices and printers icon, click on browse and then go down the yellow folders and find system 32. There it is. System 32 with the yellow folder just to the left of it. Double left click. And then what we want to do is just click on any one of these just once, not twice, once and tap the letter S a few times 
until we come past the yellow folders and hopefully in a sec you should see the yellow folders disappear there we go now they've disappeared let's just scroll down and what i'm looking for is shell 32 so it's alphabetical order let's just keep going down and hopefully this should appear in a second. And there we go, there it is there, Shell 32. Once you see it, double left click Shell 32. And then what we need to do is we need to scroll across and we're looking for a printer with a speaker next to it. It might take you a while to find it. I think normally on mine, it's along the bottom row and it's just next to this, there you go, this blue icon here. So let's just move that over a little bit. There it is just there, the printer with a speaker, double left click that click on apply, click on OK, and there you go. That gives it its official icon. And if we wanna go into devices and printers, just double left click on it, and there we go. The old, good old fashioned, classic devices and printers menu appears. I hope you like this video, and if you did, why not stick around right here on my YouTube channel? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And by the way, if you're looking for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, have a look in the description of this video. We've got some great deals for you below.